Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is going to be a demo of the Fopstar compressor. Um, I'm playing with a Taggart guitar with P90s in it. Um, it's a pretty standard P90 guitar, flame top, mahogany back. So uh, I'm playing it through an orange uh, micro terror. It's a 20 watt little, uh, little amp. Sounds great. I'm playing it through a 112 Fopstar cabinet with a uh, Celestian Cream back in it. But uh, basically, just want to give you uh, some tone examples of what's going on with the compressor and um, tell you a little bit more about it. Basically, it's a compressor and a boost in one. The, uh, once you reach the volume halfway on the compressor, it's a single knob compressor. So once that knob is, is straight up, you're pretty much at the nominal output of the compressor being the same as the clean signal without the effect or dirty signal, whatever, whatever your signal is without the effect, you'll, you'll be right close to the uh, same output. And uh, the louder you turn it up, once you go past halfway, it starts turning into a clean boost with uh, a mild compression on it. You can get up to six to eight dB boost, uh, depending on your specific amp. And um, basically it drives any clean, clean amp into uh, pretty nice saturation and any heavy amp into uh, extreme saturation and um, squish with the uh, the boost on. But let me just go through some stuff. Uh, play some stuff real quick on the clean channel of this little orange. And uh, uh, I'll turn the compressor on. You'll see it. It has a pink light when it comes on. And you'll hear probably the foot switch uh, on and off as I press it. Because I'm pretty much playing it at bedroom levels. So uh, here we go. Here's, here's the clean channel on the orange. <laughs> with the compressor. And a clean tone again. With the compression on. So basically what the compressor is doing is taking all the strings um, from low to high, from uh, the treble to the bass side, and we're squishing it together so the, uh, every note you hit has about the same uh, output level. So all the strings squish to the same, and that's, that's how this compressor is working. So uh, it doesn't matter if you pick it light or hard, it's going to give you the same output with this compressor. Uh, so for, for people who like to do fast picking or any type of funk or ska or uh, even jazz, uh, this compressor works really great for that. So let me let me play. Uh, let me turn the compressor up just a little bit more. I'm gonna turn the compressor up halfway, and you won't really notice a a, a large difference in tone between the the real amp and the compressor. Uh, granted, I am recording this with an iPhone, but uh, when I'm sitting in front of the cabinet, it's basically an adds uh, an enhancement to your tone with a mild compression. And that's kind of what I designed this pedal for. So when it's on, you don't know what's on, but when you take it off, you actually miss something. You're missing some frequencies. And that's what this compressor is really good at. So um, it has a uh, the Klon Centaur buffer stage in it. So it actually is gonna enhance your tone <laughs> whether the pedal's on or off. But as of right now, when I turn the pedal on, you get in specific frequencies that I dialed in uh, with trim pots inside that um, it's going to enhance your tones. Your high end's going to be a little bit clearer. Your low end's going to be tighter. The low end's going to drop a little bit, but it's going to be a tighter low end overall, and it's going to squish all those frequencies in there. So let me play it one more time. I got the compressor uh, straight up right now, but uh, this is the normal channel, uh, just standard guitar, no effect. <laughs> Put the effect on. Let's turn it off. Back on.
So as you can hear, it actually pushes the, the notes all to be the same level. So uh, for inflection, uh, it's not so great, but if you're looking for a consistent tone um, with all the strings, and if you're hitting all the strings at the same time to do fast notes and stops, it's, uh, it works just as well as any compressor I've ever put it up against. So let me, let me just turn the pedal up to about 2.30, and um, I'll do the clean tone one more time on the amp. Now you'll hear the uh, overdrive uh, from this amp is all being done by this uh, compression pedal. So you're getting a little bit of compression and a lot of boost. So let me play it one more time. just the regular tone. quite a bit of gain and it, it's a uh, flat frequency response gain so you're pretty much just boosting the the signal with mild compression and there's no real EQ changes other than that little low end loss but that's part of the compression uh, pedal itself so let me just turn the amp up with the gain up roll the volume down I'll max out the gain on this little uh, little amp it's a great little amp this uh, micro terror from orange um, actually, I don't want to max it out. I'll put it. I'll put it at like three o'clock, just so we get some dynamics. So, so here's the uh, amp in its overdrive state. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna roll the uh, compressor back just a little bit, and I'm probably at like maybe ten o'clock. So actually, let's hear it one more time. <laughs> Put the compressor on. tightens up the uh, the notes all together and it squishes them very nicely so let me roll it up just a little past halfway and uh, we'll get a little bit more saturation a little bit more gain out of it so here's the normal uh, dirty channel on the orange <laughs>
So let's turn uh, let's turn the compressor all the way up so you get about six dB, uh, almost eight dB, depending on uh, what amp you have. I, I never really roll anything all the way up, so I'll roll it back just a little bit. So I'm pretty much at uh, five o'clock uh, on this pedal, maybe four thirty, and uh, let's let's hear how it pushes this overdrive into uh, a little bit creamier overdrive, a little bit more saturation. Uh, just helps out all dirty amps. This pedal works amazing with them. So here is the uh, standard uh, dirty channel on the orange. <laughs> When it's all the way turned up, you get the uh, great compression, but you also get the this clean boost that works great with all amps. It makes harmonics jump off the string, pinch harmonics, but everything in general sounds more 3D with the uh, the compressor on. So, although it may not be a heavy compression, uh, when the pedal is not in use, you actually do miss. Well, you feel like you're missing something that's not, you know, and, and you are because you're missing specific frequencies that are being compressed together and uh, squish in a, into a, a narrow focus which makes the guitar cut and it makes it sound amazing through uh, any amp you play through, uh, tube amp especially um, but the, the, the boost side of the compression is the secret weapon for this because people are going to be like where are you getting that from and, and you tell them it's from a compressor they'll never believe you but uh, it, it is a it is a st straight up compressor till halfway and then after that it's a compressor with a boost so that's the Fopstar compressor hope you enjoyed this video and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks, guys. Bye.